I was absolutely shocked. <laughs> I did not know I had been nominated. I knew nothing about it. And then I received a letter that said I was receiving an Edith Fox King, so it was very much a surprise. It means a lot because a lot of the people that I know that I really respect in this, in this profession have already received the Edith Fox King. And so for to be able to join the ranks of those kind of people is just pretty special. You know? And to be nominated from somebody within the journalism community makes it even nicer. Well, I, I was working as a journalist prior to starting to teach. And, always had wanted to teach. I always loved teenagers and journalism were my two favorite things and so to be able to combine them uh, was just the perfect life for me. My children were all involved in yearbook when they were in high school and so I kind of decided that I wanted to go that path and I've never never regretted it though so my background was newspaper and print you know and now all of a sudden I'm into photo and yearbook more and not doing newspaper but I love it all. Because I think we need to raise a generation of media consumers, not necessarily a generation of journalists, you know, because we can't all be journalists, but we all need to learn to consume the media responsibly and not let them tell us what to think and what to do, but to learn to listen to facts and decide for ourselves. And so that's always been my goal, is to help students learn to communicate themselves, but also to understand the communicators out there. Just lucky to be teaching in this district with these students that, you know, just embrace the whole idea of what we're doing and love to tell stories. And that's what's so important about what we do.